I'm Joe Lopez in Jupiter, and I spoke with a man on the phone who said he wanted to honor his friend, who he says was the person that died at Harborside Place on Sunday. It was a friendship that started in middle school. We attended Jupiter High School, played football together, um, and then uh, they both ended up at Florida State University. Fast forward 20 plus years, Scott Gorman and Nate Davenport both became dads living in the Jupiter area. Over the years when our kids, my two older kids were taking swim lessons, it was actually at Nate's house in, in their pool. He says Davenport was a veteran that flew planes for the Navy. He was one of the most caring, fun loving, upbeat people that I've ever met in my life and I'm going to miss him. Gorman tells us his longtime friend Davenport was the man that died on Sunday after he was electrocuted trying to save his child from a fountain. We're there in distress and, and I know he would do anything and everything in his power to make it stop. And, and unfortunately, it, you know, it, it cost him his life. He says Davenport leaves behind four children as well as his wife. If she ever needs anything, you know, we'll all be there for her. Gorman says his own children have played at the splash pads at Harborside Place. Quite honestly, I, I think those fountains should probably be drained. I and mean, it's, it's quite the enticement to have a fountain right next to a splash pad and then say not to go in it. Tonight, many questions left unanswered. If something wasn't properly inspected or, or, or whatever, if there's an issue, then somebody needs to be held accountable for it. He's now preparing to lay his friend to rest. And if you had some words for your friend Nate, what would you say to him? You know, we, we, we've always loved you and we always will love you. Tonight, that investigation is still ongoing, but we're told that a service for Davenport will be held at Christ Fellowship. Outside of Harborside Place in Jupiter, Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5.